I probably have to say Chuck Liddell. Andre Agassi, his beautiful bride, Steffi Graf. Every damn little John. He reminds me a lot of me when I was in high school. The beautiful Jamie Presley in attendance here tonight. He put me in a, a headlock as a joke once, and sometimes I still black out in the middle of the day. Even Fat Man is in the house to watch these superheroes fight. You can tell whether an event has made it by the celebs in attendance. When you go from George Hamilton to George Clooney, you've made it. But here's the question. Who's going to be there in Montreal? Dana White, do you have major celebrities lined up? You know, you, you never know until they show up. Uh, I'm assuming that's the answer to be no. <laughs> we don't have anyone. Yeah. Uh, um, Mark Wahlberg is supposed to come. He's in Toronto. You're in no the... negotiations, right? Yeah. No, listen. Mark Pavlich, you're going to be there? We don't do that. We don't go out and seek celebrities. Uh, you know, they either come or they don't. You're going to be there, yeah, Mark, I'm gonna Mark be there. Pavlich? Yes. You are. With yeah. your good hair? Yes. With All your hair, shiny shoes? Shiny shoes. You are the part. president of Maximum That's Fighting. Right. And to some extent, you're competing with this guy. On a Absolutely different not. Todd Lushko, welcome to the show. <laughs> Former Calgary Flames forward and a big fan of UFC, good fan of the show, or we're a good fan of yours. Both, love it. Evan Solomon, welcome to the show, the co host of CBC News Sunday. And you know what you bring to this show? You bring brains. Good to see you, man. You're in a scrappy mood today. This I am. Look out. Makes me so forget scrappy. about what's good for Dana White. I think we all know Dana can do what's good for Dana. Let's talk about what's good for the sport, for MMA, not UFC, and what's best for the fighters and the fans. Elite XC landed the first major network deal, CBS. May 31st. Are they a threat to UFC? And if they are, would the competition for the fighters and the fans be the best thing possible? People always talk about the competition, and the reality is, is that I don't, I don't see any of these guys as competing with us. There's going to be a grassroots, uh, you know, all over the country and all over the world. There's smaller shows, and everybody aspires to someday be in the UFC. I think that uh, you know, right now, you, you, they're public companies. Look at their financials. That one lost $27 million this quarter. The other one lost $20 million this quarter. Um, but people, Dana, being... I, I'm, I'm, I'm flattered that we make it look that easy. It's like, this is how crazy it is. It's like all of us are sitting around watching NASCAR on a Saturday, right? And we're sitting there going, wow, look at all the people that are there. But this is the, unbelievable. But and they, they have a major network deal. But we should start our own big. race league. <laughs> but, yeah, but they are. They do think that. You know that boxing, the story of boxing is that people try to make money by starting different belts. The money is so huge. Your success and the UFC but there are is so that... astronomical. You, can't, you have to expect that you can't be the only guy in the block. And the question We're is... We're not. There's, there's, there's thousands but of people. But the question is, these, would it be better for the sport? If these, someone... These if, fights... If, if yeah, I, sure it would, but guess what? Nobody's doing it better than we are. There's an illusion out there, Michael. The, what happens is people actually think that there's 100 MMA organizations in the world making money. It's not true. There's two in Canada, and there's probably one and a half besides UFC that are even making remotely any money. They're giving this optical illusion like they're making money, and they're not. IFL's losing money hand over fist. Elite XFC is losing money hand over fist. And the bottom line is... But CBS people, is not small change. I mean, I mean small it's change a little because, different. Right? You guys right. bought you know what it is? It's like right. the, but here, here's the thing with network television, okay? The WWE has been the highest rated show on cable television forever. Right. They went to network. Pro Elite on, on CBS... Every time they've done a fight, went I mean on uh, Showtime. Yeah. Tick, okay. tick, tick. You know it dropped in ratings. Wait, wait. wait. Here, here, you no, think no, you're no, going to go on CBS wrong. and yeah. you said pull big wrong. numbers? You said WWE has been the number one show on cable television. There was a long time when WCW beat them. They, the competition that was, rose up, and for a time, that was kicked. a long time ago. Well, it yeah. wasn't that long ago. A long it was time ago. The last decade. Yeah, no, no it, it was been longer than 10 years. But been longer than 10 years. Easily no, longer no, than 10 no, years. But by no, your no. own example, NASCAR went mainstream. They started getting the CBS, and that really cranked what time up the is ratings. The, CBS so on the, the question is, is that a threat to UFC, which is really own cable, own the pay-per-view? Does that? Do you guys take any defensive the measures? Thing, the only thing that threatens us about the CBS deal is they're going with a guy named Kimbo Slice, who I have said all the time, this isn't who these guys are. You know, they found this guy, he fights in uh, backyards on YouTube, you know, and, and realistically, t you know, people who are uneducated about fighting, they think this guy's good. But, but you know what, though? I, I am educated about fighting, and I know you're educated about marketing, but I think Kimball Slice is huge for the sport. I'm not an, I'm not an advocate See, of the I, organization. I don't agree with that. And the only reason why I want that, or, the only reason why I say that is, Dana, is because he's another demographic that we're kind of missing in our sport. That's not, not at really all. Here. Not I'm at all. That, that he's, was, I'm, not he's, that, I'm not saying the thug demographic. He's, I'm saying what's that, he's what's wrong with boxing. It's the same old story. If it wasn't for this thing, this guy would be dead or in jail. That's the same story. You know, 
we have a whole. These are these guys are real athletes. A lot of these guys competed in college. I, a lot I believe of them that Kimbo is becoming that. I'm not. I'm not going to wear a Kimbo slice T-shirt, right? But I'm trying to tell you that he's that demographic where guys look at it and go, "Wait a second. They weren't watching the sport before they if saw him. Right? They didn't Dana, go for the freak show. But Dana, I'm not, I will never go for but the freak Dana, show. But Dana, does that raise the, the question that if CBS is going for, as you call it, the freak show, it could tar the image of the sport? It was once called the blood sport by I John McCain. Yeah. You've, you've moved it down, That's and now point. will it move it backwards? That's my point. And move it backwards with a company like CBS? You know, the fact that CBS even uh, would consider putting a fight like that on television, it's everything Have that we've gone Have you seen what the networks put on television yeah. these days? Yeah, I agree. Seriously, well, you it, think it, has, it has nothing to do with credibility. It has it everything to do with marketability. But you have saying... to understand where I came from. When I came into this thing and was trying to get it, it was all about credibility. I couldn't even get on pay-per-view. Porn is on pay-per-view. Yeah. Okay? I couldn't get on pay-per-view. The hard work and the money that me and my partner spent to lay the foundation for this thing, you know, these guys threaten. They threaten it. All right, Mr. Fan. Listen, I'm, I'm Would you I, watch Kimbo Slice? You know what? I agree with Dana, though. I think, I think Kimbo Slice, Slice is a thug. All right? And, and I think I the whole that's learning how to fight, though. No, no, I Hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I want to see something. Yep. You say two plus two is five, and let's see if he agrees. <laughs> My whole point is I agree with him. I think that martial arts is a, is, is a finely tuned art. You have to learn it. And I think you get a guy off the street, you're sending the wrong message. These guys do years and years and years of training to get to where they are right now. You bring a guy like that on board, you're setting the spot. Today's show is gold. I got to cut you off. I got to cut you off because we got to go to break. You understand that, right? Got to make a buck. All right. Don't forget, really off the record, just send 44.94 to my house. Yep, cheaper than UFC 83. Today we talk about boxing and wrestling and why the UFC has them near submission. And later on Next Question with UFC boss Dana White, he'll tell us how close was Vince McMahon to buying UFC. can be violent and bloody and gruesome and I'm proud to say that I live in Ontario where we don't license violent and bloody and gruesome behavior. That said, we do license boxing. Dana cannot hold a UFC event here. My question is, who's got it right? Ontario or largely the nine other provinces that say you can do it? Well, first of all, you're you're preaching communism that's well alive here in Ontario. Yeah, but that's because, but, oh, no, no, because no, Ken, Hayashi, Ken Hayashi runs a commission and you can say that he has board members and all these other things. We tried the politically correct way before, so now we're just going to start calling yeah, him a communist. Yeah, but he has the criminal code. He says the criminal it's code the criminal, does not, does not allow... The criminal code can easily be changed. We changed it in but Alberta. he can't change we, the criminal code. We, no, but people have attempted it, and he's always been there to block it. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know Ken or, or anything like that, but the bottom line is, listen, it's not going to be any harder than it was for us in the United States. Like I said, this thing wasn't even allowed on pay-per-view, and porn is allowed on pay-per-view, okay? Uh, what it is, is it's an education process. We need to come in, we need to educate these guys. The, the states were the toughest for us, and the UK. The UK wasn't easy for us either, and now we're putting on events five times a year over there. We'll get Toronto done too. I, there's, there's a lot of rules in MMA, and I think Dana's right. It looks more violent, but they, the old criticisms of mixed martial arts have changed a lot. Uh, you know, because there are more rules and there, and you know, the referees are much more educated. So I, I think that, you know, there's a, the crowds want it. 
you know, you can't stop a flood. Eventually, this is going to come to Ontario and it's going to come across right. Canada. So you're good. It's with the it. fastest yeah. growing sport so you're in the world. It. We're all good. It's with not it. slowing down. It's getting bigger. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be everywhere. How old are your kids? My kids are, I've got a two, a uh, six, and a seven. Which they watch it, they train in it, they're would around you let it all do the time. It? Absolutely. Full contact. Whoa, 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 time out. People talk about would you let your kids come to this, okay? I went to a Red Sox Yankee game the other day. There's kids everywhere. Hey, Gina, you homo. Your mother's a this. Your father's a this. You're this. Guys drunk, spilling beer all over the place. There had to be 40 fights in the crowd while yeah, I was at this yeah, game. But, but, but you'll bring your kid to a baseball but that's game. Irrelevant. Because, because, well, you know, why? Why is it? Because it's I'll baseball. Because no. we grew up no, with it. No, because you're talking about the crowd. You're talking about environment. You're not talking about the sport. So what? In, in, so so what? what? There's, the there's a heck of a the difference. Sport. These guys your are athletes. These guys are athletes. Would you, athletes would you let your kid, when, you're, when you, you have a son? Yeah, I've got two when sons. You're, when your son is 12 years old, would you let him compete in mixed martial arts? Full striking, full on, want to knock down the opposition. You Answer the question. I'll. Got no problem, man. You know what I would hate? you do it, Todd? You're, you're a fan. Would you let your kid do it? 100%. Yeah. You know what? Would you I, let your kid do it? You know what I wouldn't let my kid do? What? I will. I, I mean, I won't not let my kid do anything, but I would like him to not play football. Okay? There's nothing more violent than the sport of football. Okay? These guys get in great shape, run into each other. My friend Lorenzo, my partner, has had three knee surgeries and, and both shoulders operated on twice from high school football. If you knew how many high school kids died every high year playing high school football. High school football, school football is violent. So and my answer to your question is, I would let my kid get into mixed martial arts any day of the week before I'd let him play football. Well, but, but you, they're, but they're, you see, hold on, hold on. But, but you see, you, you, you kind of convolute the question there. You don't answer the question. You say, the answer I is yes. Well, okay. Yes. My kid would, your your kid, would you let your kid? You know, you can't stop your kid from doing exactly. something. Thing that they want. Do you, you know that? Just, just a second. Sure you you know what? No, you can't because they're getting really to a certain can't. point where they train. And there are, listen, these guys are legitimate athletes. They legitimately train. And the, one, the difference between mixed martial arts and boxing, boxing is a great sport, but there's a tradition in boxing. It's coming up on the, off the street and boxing saves your life. In mixed martial arts, these guys are training in lots of different martial arts. There's a philosophy. Guys like Rich Franklin, he's a math teacher. There's a little different role model going on. So, but hold Big on. Difference but, in our but, sport but the too. one thing listen, is, if on. someone listen, gets killed difference. in mixed martial martial arts, it's going to hit hard. The, the, and and, and, and that's a danger well, that you've got to be afraid of. One thing right. you're sure. confused about, well, too, is we're a different demographic of fighter. Most of our fighters are educated. It's not from the streets and the hood. Majority that of people, could change. Hold hold wait on, a second. On. Excluding Kimball Slice, but the majority of fighters, Jason McDonald, for example, what university educated, Rich Franklin, hold university hold educated. Like, I, want to ask the, I want to ask you guys. So your I, son I is 12 years old, and someone is kneeling on his chest and laying the beating on, right? And your son's still conscious, so no one is called off the fight. You're watching that, you're okay. Okay with that. A amateur, the, first of all, you're going, the, the, the states in the, in the United States that do have amateur, the kids aren't allowed to hit to the face, they hit to the body. What's happening now, too, is th there, there's a whole amateur program that's being built. And at the end of the day, here's the deal. You either want your kid to play golf or tennis, or you're into him being into contact sports. Not everybody is a fan of fighting. Not everybody is going to like it. Not everybody's going to want their kid. Listen, I hate golf. I think it's the dumbest game ever invented. But, but, but Dave, I can't stand it. it. It doesn't mean that other people shouldn't we're, watch and play. We're, we're here in a country where, you know, look at hockey players, we fight. We, yeah. uh, that's great. But the one thing about mixed martial arts, and they always say there's submission, but we have seen the grounded pound, and it just looks unbelievable. The question is, can this sport survive if it crosses the line? You never know. There, there's a lot of violence well, that's like there. In hockey, when it happens, all the questions about violence get raised. What would happen in mixed martial arts I if think, someone I got think, seriously hurt? I think it's the same thing. I think uh, it's inevitable. Listen, as human beings, we all have injuries. We all die. Things happen. I don't know. I don't. The bottom line with me is, I care about a lot of these guys. These guys are my friends. I don't ever want to see that happen. That's why the UFC. That's why when we talk about sanctioning, we try to go above the board. We want it. We want sanctioning. Ontario should sanction it, and every other place in the world should. And on that note, I say thanks to all of you for doing off the record. You're going to stick around for next questions. So yep. I'll give the orders here. I'm the president okay. of off the record. <laughs> you know what? I'm in full control, <laughs> and there is no competition. As we go to break, here's a question for you. Don't answer now. Answer when we return. One will Kimbo Slice be in the UFC? Hold on to that. I think I know what you're going to say.